hello friends finally einstein for developers is now in open beta which means now you can use it in this video we'll explore the current capabilities of einstein and how to set it up and how to use it we'll see all of them and if you don't know what is einstein for developers it's a salesforce generative ai solution that unleashes the developers productivity so let's look at the current capabilities of einstein for developers so for this release it just focus on generating the apex code not anything else but in the future release we'll see the generation of lwc and other stuff as well so that's the current capability now let's quickly move on to a note and this note says this tool use generative ai which can produce inaccurate or harmful response so before using it just remember this code may or may not be accurate so let's go to the setup overview and to use einstein for developer we need a vs code so let's go to first vs code so now i'm in my vs code in vs code you have couple of icons on the left hand side there is one option of extension where we can install the uh, einstein for developers extension so if you type here einstein for developers you can see there is an option for einstein for developers i already have installed this extension so i'm getting an option of uninstall but you will get an option of install and you can click on that after a few seconds it get installed in your vs code so the next step and there could be a chance your vs code is old so if we look at the einstein for developers plugin document it says to use this plugin your vs code should be version 1.76 or later so let's look at the version of our vs code we can go to code i'm using mac so i have an option under the code about visual studio code and here my version is 1.8 which means it's greater than 1.76 to make sure your vs code version is 1.76 or later now we have extension ready i already have set up the project sfdx project if you haven't you can open your vs code and you can go to command palette and type create project with manifest and it will create a sfdx project for you so let's go to our slides back the first step is done we have installed the extension in vs code i already have set up the sfdx project and connected to an org so i already have connected to a developer org you can see it's already connected but if you have set up a new project you need to authorize an org that you can select an option and you can connect to your developer org now we have vs code ready project uh, extension installed we have our project set up we have connected to our, uh, our developer org and now the next task is to enable the einstein for developer in our org so we can go to our salesforce org and here under the quick find we can type einstein and under the development there is an option einstein for developers so if we click on this for you if you are doing it first time it will be disabled so if you click on this button it will be enabled so to enable your Einstein for developers you need to enable this checkbox or toggle button and now we can use the extension to generate the apex code from natural language instruction so let's go to our vs code now and play around with this extension so let me close this and to as i already mentioned the current capability is to use only in apex so we'll go to our classes folder and we'll create a new apex class create an apex class and i'll give this name as einstein testing and it created it and i'll remove everything from here now so there are two ways to use our einstein for developers extension one is you click a cursor here and go to command palette you will 
only see this option when you are inside the apex class generate code right but for generate code you need to give a prompt so let's write a prompt here first i want to create an apex class that returns uh, or we can say apex class let's call it as get get accounts it should return 10 records just copy and cut and let's go back and say einstein generate code it says enter your query i'll just paste the query that we have typed prompt and hit enter and at the bottom you see querying einstein for developers and it immediately returns x class get accounts with get accounts method name and there is an option to accept try again or clear so we'll accept it and you can see the code has been generated perfectly there is one way this is the one way of creating this class or the code the another way is you have an icon next to it that is called einstein sidebar so if you click on this it's similar to chat gpt sort of where you can write directly and you'll get an op the output so, so let's write a prompt here we'll say i want to create an apex class let's call it as get account it should return 10 records and i'll say ask so this is little bit cleaner way because their typing in the prompt is quite tricky sometimes if you have a long prompt so it returns it we'll copy the code and we can paste it here you see it returns the code so it's so easy now because ai is generating our code and it increases our productivity Similarly, we can say, I want to write an X test class for the following code. And I'll paste the code that I copied and I'll ask. And it immediately says we couldn't generate an output from the text input that you provided. Please update the text and try again. So it there could be a chance my prompt is not correct. So let's try one more thing. Let's improve our prompt now. Instead of I, we'll say like a create a text test class for the following code. Prompt engineering is another skill nowadays. So let's click on ask. Let's see if it generate the test class. Boom. Now you have a test class as well. It's the matter of how well you write your prompt. Let's try one more thing. We'll say write a text code that sort the list of contacts alphabetically by last name and click on ask. and you can see it is giving us that using a sort method we can copy and paste and one more thing you can view here is there is another tab comes to our footer here history and feedback from einstein and if you are not seeing this you can again go to command uh, palette and you can select show prompt history we will see that and whatever we have asked you can see all of them here you can like give feedbacks and everything so that's all about how to set up the einstein for developer and how to use it at very high level let's look at quickly how to set up this for a scratch org as well approach will be enable the einstein for developers in your dev hub use the sfdx authorized dev hub command to log into your dev hub and the only thing that you need to remember in your scratch org definition file you need to add einstein gpt for developers as a feature so once you do this stuff you are good to use the einstein for developers in your scratch org so that's all about at very high level about einstein for developers i hope you like this video I'll see you in the next video.